Okay, so if you're not quite sure how to solve this algebra problem, well, no worries because I'm going to fully explain the solution in just one second. But uh, let's take a look at this problem. Now, the first thing that we need to notice is that we do have an equation. So we have 4y squared plus y is equal to 0, and we're trying to solve this equation for y. All right, now, if you have an answer, go ahead and put that into the comment section. I'll show you the correct solution in just one second. Then, of course, I'm going to solve this problem step by step. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly tell you who I am. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you want a nice, easy-to-understand way to learn math, well, then check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into this problem. So we have 4y squared plus y is equal to zero. And again, we're trying to solve this equation for y. So what is y equal to? Well, y is actually equal to two numbers. There's two solutions here. So the solutions are zero and negative one fourth. All right, now, if you got this right, well, you definitely got a happy face and an A+. Plus. And if you're like, uh, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I am confused. Can you please teach me? Well, of course I can. This is not that difficult. But let's go ahead and get into the solution right now. And the first thing is that we need to recognize what type of equation this is. So in algebra, there's all different sorts of types of equations. You have linear equations. You have systems of equations, you have radical equations, you have rational equations, you have quadratic equations, exponential equations, and the list goes on and on and on. Now, how you solve one equation all depends on what type of equation it is, right? So we just don't solve equations. Now, the one thing about solving equations in algebra is that a lot of the principles are common, all right? But we're going to focus in on this particular equation. And what type of equation do we have here? Well, we have a second degree polynomial, otherwise known as a quadratic equation. Okay, so y squared and y, these things right here, this is a term of a polynomial, and so is this. Now, the highest degree is the highest power of this polynomial. Okay, now if I'm using terms or words, they're like, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, uh, you know, I'm not really quite understanding what you're saying. Well, check out my full uh, algebra courses. You can find links to those in the description of this video. Also have a ton of additional YouTube videos on these topics, but I'm going to try to, you know, give you what you need so you can fully understand this particular problem. But anyways, we need to understand that we are dealing with a quadratic equation, which is a second degree or a power of two polynomial. Okay, so what does that mean? Well, it means that we have two solutions, all right? So this is a really important concept. So every single quadratic equation will have two solutions. Now, what type of solutions? Well, it all depends. Sometimes you can have two real number solutions. Sometimes you have imaginary number solutions. But the bottom line is, is that you will have two answers. Okay, now another thing that we need to notice here is that this thing is set equal to zero. And that is really going to help us out. You'll see why in just one second. But uh, how much do you know about solving quadratic equations? Now, some of you might be saying, hey, Mr. to Math Man, I am an expert in solving quadratic equations. Well, that is fantastic. Let's just do a quick review for those of you that think you know all about quadratic equations. So the first thing, again, is that we are dealing with a polynomial that is degree 2. And there's always going to be two solutions. But what are the methods that we can use to solve quadratic equations? Well, it all depends on the equation. Now, sometimes you can solve by factoring. Sometimes you can solve by um, uh, something called the quadratic formula, right? Now, you don't want to use the quadratic formula uh, if you can factor. Now, sometimes we have real super easy quadratic uh, equations where we can solve by taking the square root of both sides. In other words, if we have x squared is equal to 16, this is a quadratic equation. We could simply just take the square root of both sides, so x is equal to plus or minus 4. Okay, here is our two solutions. But in this particular case, uh, we just can't take the square root of both sides in this problem. All right, and now there is another uh, technique. It's called completing the square, which is kind of a long way to a uh, long way of using the quadratic formula. Now, of course, 
uh, if you are taking a full algebra course, you need to understand this. But here is the, uh, the deal, okay? Every single quadratic equation can be solved using the quadratic formula, all right? So you definitely need to know this, but you don't want to run and just break out the quadratic formula because that takes more work. So you want to assess the problem and see what uh, type of method you could use outside of the quadratic formula. And in this particular case, this is a perfect situation to factor, all right? So we're going to see that in just one second. Okay, so again, different techniques to solve this uh, particular quadratic equation. So here, actually, there's really uh, basically two approaches one could take. The, you could use the quadratic formula, but you don't want to do that if you can um, avoid it, right? You always want to look for you know, simpler or more direct methods. And in this particular case, we can factor this polynomial. Now, I'll get back to this equal zero. I said this is a real benefit. But let's see if you can actually factor 4y squared plus y. Now, if there is one skill that uh, makes you or breaks you in algebra, it is factoring, all right? So you got to know how to factor. Again, if you need uh, any help with factoring polynomials or anything, you know, algebra, you know where to look. Okay, so let's see if you can factor 4y squared plus y. So when we factor, we can factor out the greatest common factor, which is y. So it will look like this, y parentheses 4y plus 1 is equal to 0. So we just factored out the greatest common factor here. Now we can always check our factoring by multiplying back in. So y times 4y is 4y squared, and y times 1 is y. All right, so we have factored this polynomial, and again, this thing is equal to 0. All right, so how can we solve this? Well, this is going to be very easy because we're going to use a, excuse me, we're going to use a concept called the zero product, uh, zero product property, all right? Now, that's just kind of a fancy term for common sense, and I'm going to explain myself in just one second. All right, so we factored this polynomial. So what does that mean? Well, it means that this thing times this thing. So let's say I have 10. The factors of 10 are 2 and 5, or 1 and 10. So this thing times this thing is 0. Now, let's just kind of look at the big picture here. I have something, okay, times something else, and the answer is 0. So let's suppose, uh, you know, your best friend or somebody says, hey, uh, I, got, I have two numbers, and when I multiply these numbers together, uh, the answer is 0. What do you think these numbers are? So your friend might be saying, well, I don't know, maybe one of them must be 0 because you can't multiply two things together and get 0 as your answer unless one of the numbers or maybe both of the numbers are zero, all right? So this concept is called the zero product property. So when you have a quadratic um, equation or any kind of polynomial equation where you can factor and set those factors equal to zero, well, we can use this property, right? So in other words, this must be equal to zero or this must be equal to zero as well. So the procedure here is simply to set each factor equal to zero and solve. All right, so the first uh, thing is y is equal to 0. Well, that's about the easiest equation to solve. There you go. So that is one of our answers, All right? So y is equal to 0. And then we have 4y plus 1 is equal to 0, and we'll solve for y over here. So what we need to do is simply subtract 1 from both sides of the equation, and then we'll add down in a column manner. So we get 4y is equal to negative 1. And then to solve for y, all we have to do is divide both sides of the equation by 4. So we have y is equal to negative one-fourth. All right, so these are our two solutions to this quadratic equation. And this particular problem is pretty easy, all right? Of course, you need to know how to use the quadratic formula. There is a lot to know about polynomials and quadratic equations. All right, now, if this little video helped you out, make sure to uh, like and subscribe. It definitely helps me out uh, on YouTube. Now, when you do subscribe, right, what you want to do is hit that bell notification because I'm posting videos at least one per day, sometimes two per day. And uh, the type of videos I post range from basic math all the way up to advanced math like calculus and everything in between. And if you really want to learn math from me, well, then check out my full main math courses. You can find links to those in the description of this video. Okay, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.